How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to complete the fifth inning showdown the fastest way possible by skipping all the way to the end. As you can see here it is on veteran difficulty. You will be going up against the 99 overall signature series Mariano Rivera and I'm going to go ahead and hide the face cam so I can talk a little bit about my draft strategy as well as uh, show you guys the feedback with some of these players while I'm hitting against this Mariano Rivera. All right, so for this draft, we are going to select Larry Walker, 99 overall, as well as Cliff Floyd. I'm going to uh, take this Austin Meadows over J.D. Martinez because he's a lefty. I know I'm going to be facing Mariano Rivera, and I got J.D. Martinez in the next round anyway. So my draft strategy for this is to take as much power as I can. I'm not going to try and select any pitchers because I don't think there is a guaranteed pitcher round in this one. As you can see here, I got all position players. I will be uh, selecting that best perk in the, in the entire showdown, in my opinion, the contact boost while losing. It's also a gold perk, so we don't necessarily have the silver ones uh, like we would if we were playing stage one showdown or stage two showdown for team affinities. I do like this uh, this fifth inning showdown because if you complete it, every time you enter and, and complete it, you get a ball and is a habit pack. So you can kind of grind those out and farm those as well uh, when you are trying to do those team affinities or complete those exchanges or just sell those cards for stubs, 1,000 at a time. You can build up your stubs pretty good by doing that uh, showdown. So I wanted to uh, complete it from the starting from the beginning, down 15 runs. We need to score 16 runs. And pretty much my strategy for this is wait for pitches over the middle of the plate. Uh, we have the best perk we can get. We have a good amount of lefties, and we also were given a couple good bench bats. We got uh, Rowdy Telez and Dwight Smith Jr. Uh, auto selected to our team. So those are two great lefties to have. And uh, because I'm not completing each and every mission along the way, we won't be able to make any upgrades. So I'm batting these guys out of position. I'm just putting the best hitters I can up at the plate because we're only going to be doing this final showdown against Mariano Rivera. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Yankees will have their best uh, outfield players are their best overall players at their respective positions. So 99 Mickey Mantle is in center field. They do have 95 Ricky Henderson in left field and 99 Reggie Jackson in right field. They have Jason Giambi at first base. So they have a lot of their legends that the Yankees have a part of their team. So to keep that in mind as well, they are going to track down some balls out there in the outfield. Uh, another good tip for completing this showdown is to get off to an early start. As you can see, I only scored one run. I hit into a double play on the previous at-bat, and I pretty much uh, ruined this opportunity of multiple guys on base with only one out uh, so far. Now we have four outs that we've earned, so we are trying to avoid those double plays. That will increase the confidence on the pitcher, and that's another thing. I mean, that's the main thing I would say when playing these showdowns is focusing on the confidence meter as well as the stamina meter. Because this is a closing pitcher, he doesn't have uh, a lot of stamina. He has 34 stamina. So you have to try and take as many pitches as you can and work the count. That is what's going to help you the most with this method. This method is very challenging, I would say. I would say that... Uh, the average person is going to take a few attempts in order to complete it this way, and that's all right. It still might be faster, uh, you know, trying this two or three times like this. It might be faster than completing all the missions in a row. So on this particular swing, I ended up using a power swing with Dwight Smith Jr., and that one just got out of the reach of Mickey Mantle. Uh, this next swing was a regular X swing, and we get lucky. We do need some luck to go our way. They make an error. It rules it as a base hit, but definitely an error on the first baseman there. Threw it behind Mariano Rivera as he was uh, trying to make the pitcher's fielding uh, play right there, or pitcher's fielding practice, that PFP. Anyway, I'm going to try and take advantage. I'm going to try and steal second base, use the 60 speed with 60 steal attribute to my advantage, and we end up swiping second. That is going to allow us to... Uh, score a run and be in scoring position for another run whether it's a sack fly any run is going to help you're going to be able to lower the pitcher's confidence and also i want to mention one other thing when you score five runs against this mariano rivera then he will automatically get a little bit of a confidence boost i don't really know why that is but he does get that little bit of boost to his confidence and uh 
you have to try to knock it back down once you score those five runs. I think that's the only time he'll actually gain confidence. But at this point, he's already thrown 40 pitches. He's in the yellow range for stamina. We're working the count. We have a 3-2 count. We hit a home run with J.D. Martinez. And we need six more runs in this showdown in order to complete it. We only have eight outs. Ideally, we want to have at least 10 more outs and be in this situation. But at the same time, I mean, for starting off a little slow, for hitting into a double play, for uh, not really uh, getting rewarded on all my perfect hits or perfect swings, we are looking pretty good here down to the last five outs needing to score six runs. I know that sounds kind of strange, but uh, really with this showdown, you just need to string together a couple base hits, hit a big home run. As you can see, I got a base knock with the common. I went to uh, a pinch runner, Magneria Sierra for Rowdy Tellez. I think it's actually a bronze card, Rowdy Telez. But anyway, end up hitting a home run. So the pinch runner didn't really come into play there. But I was thinking about stealing. I didn't want to hit into a double play down to my last five outs. Here we chase up above the zone. And we get lucky that that pitch was still sent out off the wall. I thought Reggie Jackson was going to make that play, crashing into the wall. It's happened to me a bunch of times in this showdown uh, where you know home runs have been robbed, diving plays will be made, and it's just something that you can't really control. But the thing that you can control is trying to get the confidence down all the way, working the count, and uh, just trying to stay consistent with your swings with this method. That's probably the main things that you have to focus on. And you have to be extremely precise with your swing timing, you also have to be extremely precise with your PCI placement. And as you can see here, I mean, the timing window is pretty large. We are pretty early on that swing right there and still almost blooped it in for a base knock. So you will be able to get rewarded on some uh, interesting hits, I would say, in showdown. They are going to happen. But if you took a look at the uh, confidence and the stamina bar, he's in the red range. He's going to hang pitches over the middle. All you have to do is square it up pull the baseball, and there we actually tie it up. So it's 15 to 15. I don't have the uh, contact boost while losing anymore because we're tied. So we really have to focus up. We got a base knock with Mikel Franco. Now I'm going to another pinch runner. We brought 73 speed onto first. And since we have three outs, I am going to lay down a bunt. I'm risking it here. If we bunt that ball up in the air and pop it up, then we're probably going to fail the showdown. But I want to get that guy in scoring position. I don't want to hit into a double play. Now we have our uh, last hitter up. I don't have anybody else to go to on the bench. Magneria Sierra, who is a pinch runner, I brought in for Rowdy Telez. I would definitely rather have Telez up at the plate right here. But we do have Magneria Sierra, and he still sends that one up the middle. It's slow enough to be able to score 73 speed from second base. And that's exactly why I went to a pinch runner because if we didn't, then we probably don't beat the showdown. And this was honestly my second attempt. I tried to complete it in my first attempt and it did not work out. I ended up failing it as you can see here, but we earned five ball and as a habit packs. I uh, completed a few things within the game, earned a couple program stars, and now we're looking at 75 after completing the showdown. Now we have 77 after completing a daily. I'll go ahead and lock in these all-star players that I already have locked in that are non-sellable. So that way I can keep a couple of them that are still sellable just in case. We will have uh, plenty of guys to lock in as we have 15 out of 15 here. And that will give us 20 more program stars, making it 97. So let's go ahead and open up these ball and as a habit packs. We will have five of these. And as you can see here, we will have, you know, a few more missions to complete. We should be able to complete this fifth inning program rather quickly, even without the voucher. I'm not going to lock in the bosses from the previous program. I don't think there's any reason to. I mean, sure, you can get the bosses much quicker and uh, even flip the boss and make stubs that way. But I don't want to lock in 120,000 stubs worth of those uh, previous bosses. I don't even know what their price is now, but hopefully we can pull something. Out of these ball and it's a habit packs, we have six in total. After one from completing the showdown, I figured I would open up this gear up choice pack, mix it up a little bit, go for this unlockable as well. We get uh, a pop slam, uh, I guess a lefty with a two handed swing. Why not? Let's go with that one and let's see what we can get. We're saving up all these golds and all these silvers for stage three team affinities. They should go up in price, even though they're releasing ball and it's a habit packs for free, they should still go up in price a little bit. And uh, especially when those stage three team affinities drop, 
over the next week or so. Also keep in mind for those, some of those cards to fluctuate in price once they start to reveal some of the stage three team affinities. One other thing I wanted to include in this video is this player program, Mark Reynolds. This is a brand new flashback diamond that we can unlock. It's a 90 overall prime version of Mark Reynolds. And this card's pretty good, 100 power against both sides. He's got 89 contact against lefties and 78 against righties. Honestly, this card is pretty close to uh, the, the uh, World Series reward Ken Griffey Jr. He obviously doesn't play the outfield and have diamond fielding, but he has more power against lefties, right around the same contact and power against righties. I think that card's pretty solid, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.